What's up guys, GT Game here and welcome back to OCRP and uh, I do apologise for two things, first I didn't have a video yesterday and secondly I sound very nasally and the reason for that is because I am suffering, I've contracted the worst condition known to mankind. Not rabies, I've got man flu. But I'm going to struggle through it, I'm going to be a man, kind of. Fuck it, it's 2019, I'm an Apache helicopter. Uh, but either way, um, RP store. So I believe this time we've done crack pipe and THC oil. We're on fake ID. That was gunshots? Oh, we're about the gun store. Um, so the idea I had for that was I'm going to get a car. Um, I'm thinking a rental car, so something cheap maybe. See what I can get for cheap. And it's not gonna be registered. Or I could just buy a cheap car, I guess. What car have I got? Uh, yeah, it's not gonna be registered, and um, I've got no cars. I'm going to give the cops a fake idea if I get pulled out. First though, I wanna go try and get served for alcohol, alcohol with it. So, this should be interesting. I'm gonna buy a cheap car. That gun shop's so obnoxious. I love the gunshot sounds, but at that rate, they're just so annoying. Right, I forgot how much money I had. <laughs> I kind of want a 5 Series. But then he's a street thug. An Escalade, maybe? I mean, that would be a pretty street thuggy car. Pretty badass, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, these are all way out of his... <laughs> cheap. Maybe. Um... I don't know, a GTR seems a bit far-fetched. A Golf? I mean... A Golf is pretty thug-like. It's very rental-like as well. And it's five grand. Yeah, I'm gonna have a Golf. Nice. It's I don't need that on top for a start. Right, so this is a rental car. Um, it's not gonna come back. Now I need to go to the RP store. So, my original plan was to see if a convenience store or something was open. Unfortunately, it's not. I did check, so... Can't really use my fake ID there. I need to watch where I'm going. So, I've got a better plan. What's the point in a fake ID? It's to be someone else. At first, I was just gonna make up a name. But nah. I'm better than that. And, um... I'm gonna pretend to be... Wait, Rich Bastard's dead. Oh! No way. That's the best idea ever. I'm gonna pretend to be Rich Bastard. Even though he's no longer on their system. Um, yeah, I'm gonna be Rich Bastard. He's dead. So... This could link very nicely into the dead body. Oh, I should totally do the dead body next. Would you guys like to see that? Because there's nothing saying which order they should be in. And someone gave me a really good idea for the dead body. And if I do the fake ID and then the dead body, they could be very much linked together. I think I totally am going to do that. I might do the dead body next episode. I think that would be really awesome. And there's people at the RP store. Um... Hopefully they're not hashtag hostile. One bad news though, I can't do uh, Charles Manstein's voice. Because of my terrible affliction. I mean, I am slowly dying. I know that people in lab coats will say it will pass in a th few days, but... Nah, I am dying. I should probably take my tinfoil hat off though. Right, anyway, I need a fake ID. I've got my pistol on me. See if these bitches try to kick off, y'all. Nope, no one in here. And there was me panicking. I mean, I'm tough. I'm a tough dude, man. I'm gonna do my best. So, fake ID. Next handcuff key. The dead body. That's all the way down here. 
But I think I might take it out of order. I really like that idea. Vague idea it is. Um, do I want two? Nah. I'm just going to have the one. So, the story is, I'm in a rental car uh, with a fake ID for rich bastard. So it's not fake, but, well, it is, but that is based off a real person, which is what most fake IDs are. Get pulled over because I'm in a rental, so I'm going to drove it like I stole it. It's not registered. I play dumb. It's a rental. Uh, they ask for my ID, and I give them Rich Bastard's ID. And then after this scenario, I go and do the really fun one. I really like this idea. I'm going to pop it right here. As I said, drove it like I stole it. Which is pretty much how... To, oh, that's a cop up there. I don't want to be, like, straight up reckless. It needs to be reasonable. <laughs> Plus, can't pull over that fast. That's very much a me thing to do. The only problem is, will they let me keep my car? Ah, uh, I really didn't think about that one. Shit. I genuinely didn't think about that one at all. They'll confiscate my car, which means I can't transport the dead body. And I'm not really sure how I can work around that one. Unless I register the car. And then make some kind of bargain where I won't come back for it. I don't know, that certainly gives me something to think about. How I'm going to work around that. Okay guys, I've had a bit of a think. I've also passed a few cops. The original idea wouldn't work. Because... Two issues. First, I'm probably going to get arrested. And secondly, they're going to take the car. Which makes what I want to do with a dead body quite difficult to pull off. So, I've got an idea. Nothing says I have to get pulled over with a fake ID. So I'm just going to act really suspicious in a really suspicious area. And the police will get attention, they'll come question me say, okay, sir, can I see your ID? And uh, my ID will be fake. Like, I'll tell them my name first of all. But I won't hand their ID, I'll just tell them my name, which will be Rich Bastard. And they'll do either one of two things. Request my actual ID, and in which case I give them the fake ID. Or, even, wor even worse, or better, depending on how you look at it, They'll run the name in the system and see that it doesn't come back. And then they'll probably react from there. So I'm going to do that, and that's when I'm going to present the fake ID. And they're going to deal with that. And then it's going to link in with my next story, because my car is not going to be here. It's going to be hidden away. I'm just going to hope I don't get arrested. My god, I'm actually... fuck it. I was about to say I'm actually stopping, but I can't be bothered. Um, because I want to do something, I thought I was a cop then, with the dead body that involves me driving and not being in jail. So if I do get arrested, I'll try and post bail. But it's a lot of stuff, genuinely a lot of stuff hinges on me getting this right. But the next episode, I mean, come on. I'm carrying a freaking dead body. <laughs> it doesn't get much worse than that. Um... I, I try not to give too much away, but it is interesting, and uh, it's an idea that Sheepy, one of my subscribers, pitched to me on Discord, and I really can't wait to do it. So I'm heading up to the Pleo Forest now. This could kind of give you an idea of where this is going, and um, I'm going to do today's scenario, and however this turns out is going to dictate what happens uh, next time if, with the dead body. <laughs> so, I can't remember what comes after Fake ID, but we're going to skip over that one for the time being, because I think this will be a lot more enjoyable. So, um, as I said, I'm going to go put my car away now, and I'm going to head up to the Polito Forest, which is a big forest over there. <laughs> what, you want to race? Come on in, bro. Hey there. Hey there. The voices. What the hell?
Really? AI? Really? <laughs> oh, god damn it. I mean, I'll admit I was looking away then, I was looking at my second monitor, but that totally was not my fault. But it's okay, because this totally isn't my car. Right, I am in the Pleto Forest. Where would be a good place to kind of do this? Um, I mean, uh, how do I give this, how do I not give this away? I'm looking for somewhere remote where something wouldn't be found. <laughs> I probably have totally just given it away, but... North of 3002. I mean, that certainly classifies. Next to the railroad track? Yeah, let's go there. Can't make that corner. This car, if anyone asks, has nothing to do with me. Um, I'm also, I am carrying a shovel, there's kind of no animation for that or anything, but I'm just going to pretend that I'm carrying a shovel. And I've got a gun on me. But hey, gun's not illegal. God, that saw mine's eerie. Big as well. Right, so I went out in the forest by the uh, lumber mill, and I'm going to put out a call, I'm going to anonymise it. It's going to be to the police, male acting suspiciously carrying spade in the forest just north of 3002. Caller reports black hoodie and dark pants. Give that a quick send, because I found a perfect place. A storm drain. I mean, that's about as good as it gets. So, my plan, I'm surveying the area. Well, they're saying that. Forget the storm drain. I can't get up the hill. Um, I'm feeling by here would be a bit better. I just need somewhere where I can dig a humongous hole. What the hell was that noise? What's over here making that noise? I swear I can hear a cell phone. What the fuck? I genuinely have no idea what that was. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best to do uh, this guy's voice. I completely forgot his name then, Charles Voice, Charlie's Voice. But as I said, I'm I'm dying a very slow, painful death. So have sympathy if it doesn't quite come out right. Yeah, I'm just looking for somewhere to bury a body. I gave a pretty good description. And yeah, as I said, the plan is to give him a name, hope they accept it. And if they don't, give him the fake ID. Um, the spade. I'm actually going to hide that. But I'll make it easy to find, so I'm going to pop it down here in the storm drain. It's pretty dry, so unlikely to get washed away. So drops spade in storm drain. Unlikely anyone will actually see that, but I know it's there. If the cops are of any common sense, they won't put their lights on trying to find me. They'll just kind of like look around the area. Maybe even get out oh. Apparently I'm not the only person out here. This makes me think it's not quite remote enough. I swear I saw a light down there. Yeah, that's... There's a light down there. I'm gonna hide behind the tree. Hide by here. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a police officer. That's a cop car. God, this is so eerie. Why is he stopped? Did he spot me or? 
Is he looking for me? I'm very much in a situation where the best thing to do is nothing at all. <laughs> if I move, he's going to spot me. I just want to know what he's doing. Or even who it is. <laughs> I know that's out of character, but I'm kind of curious as to their policing technique. Oh, he's moving. Stay behind the tree. Stay behind the tree. Don't spot me, don't spot me, don't spot me, don't spot me. Um, He's like totally right there. Shit. <laughs> yeah, he sees me. Um, fuck. Um, yeah, I'm just a guy leaning against a tree in the middle of a forest. Nothing to see here. Hmm. Act natural. <laughs> yep, just just going for a walk, officer. <laughs> this is so sketchy, it's not even funny. <laughs> yeah, he's like something's up. I am going to do, just so he's not confused. No sign of spade anywhere. <laughs> Why is he not doing anything? This is weird. I mean, I match the description. No, that's not pointing at things. Ah, oh, shite. <laughs> he doesn't want to approach me. I think he's scared. Go on, bleep your siren just to make it even better. Yo, bruh, how's it going? Hey, so stay there. Stay there. I'm good. Uh, I've got some calls about you uh, just walking around, looking a bit suspicious. What's up? Eh, nothing, man. I'm just looking around the forest to s see all the wild animals you get me. <laughs> That's so bullshit. Oh. Uh... I think he may be having internet issues. Yeah, definitely not me this time. That's fucking rare. Well, adios Alex, have a good one. I was gonna chill here with your car for a bit until you magically return. That's what I love about the AI. <laughs> just, if you turn zero, you just pick a direction and walk in it. Even if that direction is the ocean. You just keep walking. Huh. It's weird. 99 times out of 100, it's me that tends zeros. So I'm not quite sure what to do in this situation. Uh. Yeah, he's completely gone. I think his router died. So, um, technical difficulties, I will be right back. So, we're waiting for Alex to get back. This is kind of awkward. Oh, and we got another unit here now. Yeah, his uh, router just completely cacked itself. <laughs> Cack is Welsh for a... Let's not say that. But yeah, his router's gone down, so he's coming back now. But in the meantime, I guess he got a secondary out. I reckon that's night. That's such a night car's drive. Although, saying that, that uniform... I don't know, night's not usually here. In the, Well, not in this uniform, I mean. Hey, how's it going, bruh? I think your friend got abducted by aliens, you get me.
Uh, absolutely, sir. I get you. I get you. Uh, Trooper Knight with the San Andreas Highway Patrol. It is. Um, the reason we're out here, sir, is we received uh, suspicious reports of an individual matching your description. Oh, nah, bro. I'm just, like, admiring the wildlife, you get me? Looking for a good spot, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh, good spot for what, sir? Yeah, I don't mind, man. I'm just enjoying the, the nature. <laughs> uh -huh. And what's your name, sir? My name's Richard Bastard. It totally isn't. It just okay. isn't. Absolutely wonderful. And uh, whereabouts do you live, sir? No, oh, down in the city. You get me. So you live down in the city, yet you're all the way out here in the countryside. Yeah, I'm enjoying the wildlife. You get me. <laughs> I'm not a very good chav. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I I get you. I get you. Oh man, bro, you just love having a nap. All right. Absolutely. I thought aliens took you, bruh. <laughs> nah, nah, that happened last week, though. Anyways, I'll be back in a second. Okay, fam. <laughs> that was weird. <laughs> so what did these reports say? You said you were out here looking for a spot. What what, what kind, of, uh, kind of spot are you looking for exactly, sir? An isolated one where I can watch the, uh, the crocodiles and shit. They're out right here. <laughs> crocodiles. <laughs> He's running my name now, and he's like looking mm. for an isolated spot to watch crocodiles and shit. Um, okay, that's 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 a new one. Yeah, bruh. Those gators with their long legs, man. They run fast. <laughs> I know nothing about nature, apparently. <laughs> I was just letting him know, yeah, I was watching the crocodiles. <laughs> uh, wh where? Well, I don't know yet, I haven't found my spot. <laughs> this is such a dumb conversation. He was claiming he's looking for an isolated spot to come and watch the gators and shit, apparently, and I quote. Negative. Uh, Mr. Bastard here is from the city, and he's decided to come all the way out here to... Uh, Look at nature, or so he claims. Yeah, man. Is there a guy named the last name of Bastard that like died like a month ago or something? Nah, no idea, bro. Yeah. It, it, Definitely it, not. The name did sound familiar. I mean, uh, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go look him up, and I'll. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. Hey, there's no need for that, fam. I got my ID here. You get me. <laughs> this is where it gets interesting. Okay. If I recall. Hey. Mr. Hey, no, go ahead and stay right where you were. Um. But there, bruh, there's my ID. Oh, come here, I'll give it to you. <laughs> he was not far. He was not close enough to me. There you go, bruh. That's my ID. <laughs> ID, picture, poorly oh. attached to fake. Hey, uh, you're not a uh, you're not a white female. Female. You're not a white female. I don't white know what you mean by female, bruh. Here's my ID. Yeah, you, Richard Bastard. You have like a picture of a twenty-year-old female. Yeah, and a white female. Go ahead and turn around. Nah, I don't know what you mean, bro. My name's Richard. Turn around. I mean, is there a reason, bro? I'm just trying to get around turn my around, day. You get me? We'll... That's a nice big bat you got there. Turn around. <laughs> but, bro, I didn't do shit wrong, yeah? You're always turn hustling around. me, yeah? Is it because I'm from the hood, bro? It's from the turn hood, isn't it? It's because I'm from the hood. You hear this, uh, bruh? He's targeting me. Bruh. Around, he's like straight up targeting me, bruh. 
It's bullshit, yeah? I'm <laughs> not a good chav. Hey, what's this for, bruh? Why do you give me a fake ID for? Nah, I don't know what you mean, bruh. That's my ID, you get me? I don't know what you mean. I don't know where you got female from. I didn't type that. You, you gave me a fake ID. Nah, it's just my picture fell off, so I put a new one on, yeah? A new one of a white female. Yes. Where's he getting that yes, from? Because you are a white female. No. Bra, you're what being you, racist you come now. Back with, uh, David? <laughs> it won't come. The name uh, he gave us, Richard Bastard, does not appear in our uh, our database. Yeah, because if I remember correctly, he totally he died. <laughs> you said I'm gonna go check our records corner reports quickly. So I'm 99 percent sure I've never seen Richard Bastard was killed in like a shooter or a car accident or something. Yeah, not a problem. Uh. So, sir, how about you level with us and give us your real name? Coroner. My name's Richard, bruh. I don't know where he's getting this fag ID shit from, yeah? I was down in the hood buying cigs, yeah? Because I got those bad lungs, yeah? I comes up here to watch the really fast crocodiles. <laughs> Why is everything I do ridiculous? It's just who I am as a person. Okay, so one of two things is going to happen here. You can either actually give us your real name and identity and we can work something out that doesn't require you to go down to the station. Otherwise, we're going to be taking you down to the station and fingerprinting you to get your identification and serve you with uh, falsely identifying. Which would you rather it be, sir? Because it can be either or. So, let's just say, yeah, uh, hypothetically, that weren't my name, yeah? And I told you my my hypothetical real name. Then I walk free, yeah. <laughs> I said nothing of the sort, sir. If you go ahead and give me your real name, we can have this issue squared away. However, if you continue to play games and give us false names and identities, as I say, you will be taken down to the nearest police station. You will have your fingerprint scanned, and you will then be charged with failure to identify to a law enforcement Which officer. Which would you like, sir? So if that was a fake ID, yeah, and I admit it, it, what happens then? You could be placed under arrest for falsely identifying to an officer. Also, Richard Bastard is dead, so you're not Richard Bastard. I mean... So who are you? Do you want to make it easier or do you want to do it the hard way and we take you down the station and, you know, do it our way? What do you want to do? I mean, bruh. Big dick, yeah, he was a good friend. And that's the only bit I got left of him, yeah. So, like... Okay, well, take you down to the station, then. Hey, you told me to be honest, bro. I'm being honest, yeah? That's What's Big Dick's name? ID. My name's Little C. I'm an MC. Yeah, you have a birth name? Yeah, it's Charlie, man. Charlie what? Manstains. I'm Little C Manstains, Charlie you what? get me? Manstains. Charlie Manstains? Yeah, spelled like Manstein. <laughs> I'm really fucking with him. But yeah, big dick. Yeah, he was he was the only homie I had, bro. I grew up with him down in the hood, yeah? So basically, yeah, can I have that ID back? I sound so South London now, it's not um, even funny. In a word, bro, no. Oh, come bro, that's not even fair, yeah? I've been safe for you. I even admire your so, hat. It's had a nice you, had hat, you been quote unquote safe with us, you'd have given us your real <laughs> name from the get go. You wouldn't give us the name of someone who's deceased and then try to give us the identity card of a white female when you are clearly not a white female. I mean, that's just <laughs> two swings of falsely identifying yourself, sir. I uh, mean, I mean, let's be honest here. It was dark, yeah, I might have put the wrong picture on by mistake. That's probably my ex-bitch. A uh, girlfriend, yeah? So, basically, yeah. Next time I need to be more careful and do it with the light on, yeah? <laughs> Sir, did you just admit to forging an identity card? Nah, it was a prit stick in a picture, yeah? I can stick that anywhere. 
So, you're admitting to me that you stuck a picture of someone else on an identity card? No, I didn't say that. I mean... I've been safe with you, yeah, bro. Let me rephrase, innit? It's Big Dicks. He gave it to me. <laughs> Big Dick. <laughs> I think I'm going to jail. I'm going to try and post bail. Please tell me you've got something that makes sense, 757, because this guy's making none to me. <laughs> uh, I think we, uh... Well, the name comes back clean valid. I, uh, uh, I think, uh, also just wanted to take him in and see who he really is. And, uh, maybe get him for, for false identifying. I told you my real name, yeah? Yeah, I'd, I'd certainly, uh, God I'd certainly it. run him back just to clarify who he is. Okay. I got an idea. All right, Sir, go ahead and turn around uh, away from the deputy. He's going to give you a quick pat down at this time before he puts you in his cruiser. I should probably let you know something then, yeah? I got my gun on me. Bruh. <laughs> okay. Why is that located? In my waist. Where the cool guys keep it. Where the... Right, where the cool guys keep it. Can yeah, bruh. It's a good way to get shot. I mean, it's legal. I hope this Apart ain't from a that firearm, sir, do you have any knives, any other firearms, weapons of mass destruction upon your person? I mean, you peeps need to stop, like, treating me like I'm a criminal, bruh. I don't carry knives and shit. I'm gangster, but I'm not sir, that gangster. you falsely yeah, identified yeah. yourself to a law enforcement officer twice in this conversation alone, both of which are criminal acts. <laughs> I mean, we're treating you like a criminal, sir, because you have performed criminal acts. But, so. my mate told me, yeah, that an error only becomes a mistake if you refuse to correct it, yeah? I admit it, bruh. I've been safe. I've been a good G, yeah? <laughs> so well, had you been honest and clear from us from the get-go, then we wouldn't be in this situation now, would we? So you're saying you've never, like pulled a fast one to try and get out of something. Never, like, said no, that... Sir, I haven't. You've never said that you were ill so you could have a day off work, yeah? I mean, it's basically the same no, thing. No, sir, I haven't. Then you really need to get, like, live. No, bro. it's it's really not, sir, because saying you're ill to take a day off work is nowhere, com no, nowhere in comparison to lying about your identity to a law enforcement officer twice in a single conversation. Because what you did broke the law. Saying you're ill to have a day off work isn't a law-breaking thing. I mean, technically it's breach of contract, yeah? Sometimes. So, practically the same thing, yeah? I found that out the hard way, uh, bruh. Made redundant at, like, 14. <laughs> okay, then. Absolutely wonderful. Yeah, he, he's absolutely all yours. I'm only out here for backup, so... <laughs> Well, I was certainly interested. I want to see how I get charged. My aim is to post bail. Bruh, that's a fancy ass car you got here, yeah? <laughs> yeah, I was. Um, my Chav accent, for those in the States, Chav is like a. Um, kind of gangster, but not cool enough. A lot of Chavs hate me for saying that. But, yeah, I was very... My chav's not that great. <laughs> so, yeah, my plan from here, post bail. And then I gotta go take care of Big Dick. <laughs> I don't even know where that nickname came from. I just made it up out of the blue. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. Ah, oh, well. I think everything I do on this game is so bad. That I should just be like a phrase now. <laughs> apparently, apparently the internet tables have turned. So, uh. <laughs> oh 
God damn it. Um, well, there's the other cop there, so I wonder if he's going to run and help me. <laughs> um, they both 10 zeroed. <laughs> okay. This is a minor issue. By which I mean this is a serious issue. I wonder if I can still drive with handcuffs on. <laughs> yeah, apparently something's broken in... Oh, I can. There, this is legit. No, I can't steer. <laughs> I, I genuinely can't steer. Oh. Right, okay. I think I just found the issue. I think it's Polito Bay. Okay, so... 5M, which this server runs off, is not the best optimized thing, and as a result, I just massively 10 0 and so did everyone on scene. So, I'm just gonna quickly... no, not commit suicide. Uh, save... no, god damn it, spawn save pad, Charles Manstein. Oh! So yeah, not the best optimized thing. You take me to the station. Uh, given the primary officer is now 742, sir, I believe it's uh, best if we 66 the scenario. Okay, time for. Right. So. Yeah, what just happened there is. <sighs> Polito Bay is kind of the odd child. It, so 90% of the time, it's fine. And then there's the 1% of the time where that happens. That's why people tend to avoid it. So, that was, that's kind of awkward. It's very anticlimactic, and I do apologize for that. There's nothing I can really do. And as a result, the scenario got 1066, which means that it was essentially cancelled. We're going to forget about it. Which, absolutely sucks but the primary officer which was Alex was having internet issues I know how that feels and Polito Bay is just genuinely not a good setting and there's a very real chance that if we stay here that will keep happening so um, role plays about improvisation and I'm gonna improvise so let's just assume because that basically was an entire scenario Let's just assume that I got followed through. So I got charged with... I'm not sure what it is. I'll put a little thing at the end. Or over the screen here to let you know what the sentence would have been. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. But we're going to pretend that that happened, but officially it didn't. And I know that is like the most buggy, anticlimactic thing ever, but... Sometimes there are limitations on what you can do. Which sucks. I'm still going to do the dead body scenario, um, but I'm going to give it some time. And yeah, my voice did totally die as I said, um, then. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will definitely be doing the dead body thing. I'll get that to you as soon as I can. Uh, in the meantime, I'm probably going to do something with Matthew. But I will try and make the best video I can out of this, thus enjoyable without being overly depressed and anticlimactic <sighs> that actually sucks but yeah if you have any suggestion for any of the items in the RP store leave them in my discord there is a link in the description below and uh, while you're down there make sure you click the like icon and the little subscribe if you're already not maybe the bell icon if you like my videos so you'll never miss one and I guess that me and little C and big dick will see you next time peace out guys <laughs>